Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on here. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I do fashion and styling videos as well as some hauls. Recently started doing weekly vlogs, so if you're interested in that, I also do those. So today I'm doing a 2021 fall boots or fall shoes. Just to show you what I currently have in my collection, what I was actually looking for and found, and what I'm using again from last fall. So if you're interested to see the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing this fall, then just keep on watching. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the white sneakers, which are super essential kind of year round. You can use these in the spring, summer, winter, fall, whenever, but I definitely pull for them more once it starts getting cooler. So in the fall, I wear them all the time. In the summer, I tend to wear lots of sandals and open-toed shoes. I don't care to bother with socks and like a leather type shoe that just keeps my foot really hot. I definitely pull for these more in the fall and winter. These are actually a new pair from Walmart. I recently got them. Um, I wanted a pair of all white sneakers that were like a leather material again for warmth. Oh, I don't know how good it's gonna focus on the shoe because it is so bright, but they just have this like metallic color in the back in like a really light gold or champagne color, completely white. So a pair of all plain white sneakers can really go with any outfit. I'm planning to wear these today with this dress, probably gonna lose a hat because it's pretty hot outside but you can definitely dress down dresses or even dress your outfits. I know trousers and blazers um, are very popular right now and a lot of times to dress them down, you can just throw a pair of white sneakers with them and they look super cute. Um, you could do biker shorts, oversized shirts, jeans. I mean, these essentially go with anything. If you saw my previous styling video um, for Style Talk, how to style lug sole boots, these I recently got from Amazon. They are the soda brand in this like faux suede material. They've got a little bit of a heel, which I like, so it gives it a little bit of a dressier aspect. These I think are a lookalike to a Steve Madden shoe. I wanted them in this taupe color because I have a pair of combat boots, which I will talk about um, here. I feel like these shoes give the same kind of vibe, so I didn't want to go for a black one, so I went for this taupe lighter color one and I did a whole video on how I would style them. So they're actually very practical because you just slip them on, there's no tying, there's no fussing with the shoe. So they are pretty practical, it can really be dressed up or dressed down. So definitely would recommend a pair of these. But so the other day I was at Ross and I found these lug sole boots and they were $20 in black. Like I just mentioned, I didn't want to go for black because of the combat boots that I already have. But my combat boots are very flat. These have a little bit of a heel. Again, what makes these a little bit different is that these are completely black, no hardware, but I do really like these. I feel like I can dress these up more than I can dress up the combat boots. So I went ahead and got them in black. Did I really need them? No. I just wanna show you both options because if you gravitate for more black shoes, I wanna show you an option. Outfits that I've already put together in that um, video that I previously did, essentially you can do all the same outfits with these. Since we are talking about the oh so famous combat boot, here are my combat boots from last year. These are the Steve Madden boots that have a little bit of detail right here with the silver like studs all the way around. Love these boots. As you can see, I have worn the heck out of them. Got them during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so I got them right at $100 but I think they're at about 150. I don't know if they came out with the same style this year, but I'm definitely going to link some down below. Walmart has a really good durable pair from Time and True, and they're a great option for an affordable price, especially if you're unsure about the trend. I got a pair of Shein ones a few years ago, ended up wearing them all the time. The next fall season, I invested in these, and I'm so glad I did because I pull for these all the time. Really like these. You can dress them up or dress them down. I filmed a combat boot styling video last year, so I'm going to film another one this year with more updated outfits. I have been seeing Western boots come out for the fall here recently, and they're kind of everywhere. Amazon has some great pairs. I actually recently purchased some from Amazon that I thought were gonna be like the boot, and I was so excited to get them. And then they came in and they were terrible quality. So I sent them back and then went on the hunt to find some affordable ones. I went online, nothing was really like standing out to me. So I saw someone on TikTok say that they got some at Ross. So I went to Ross yesterday 
and, and I found those lug boots but no western boots so I actually went to Burlington and found some beautiful boots. These are a short pair of western boots that I actually got from Poshmark and they're a Zara brand and they are real suede. They are like a deep green which I really love. They actually match my hat pretty well and I was really excited to get these because I wanted a short pair of western boots and a taller pair of western boots. So I, I feel like you could do a short pair or a taller pair. I definitely wanted to have options because I know I want to wear them with jeans and with the straight leg style jeans right now you obviously can't tuck it into the boot so I wanted something that you could maybe just cuff the jean and not have to like tuck it in there. So we'll see. We'll see. Let me show you the next pair. And for the grand finale, these are the boots that I found at Burlington yesterday. OMG, I'm in love with them. Sorry, I'm looking off over here because that's where the uh, screen is. Still admiring them. Like a really light cream color. These are definitely real suede. They are Chinese laundry and the only size they had were six and a half. Every boot that they had at Burlington in this style were six and a half, which I thought was super weird. But I went for them and they fit fine. The pointy toe may be a little bit too pointy for some people, but I really like it. I like that it has a little bit of a heel. I love the little ruching detail. I'm in love with these. I knew I wanted to find a cream or tan color and I didn't want black. I took a picture for Instagram um, on my stories with these on with this dress. Just to show you how versatile this dress is because I got it last year. And I was able to style it many different ways. You could do lug boots, you could do combat boots, you could do cowboy boots, you could do the tennis shoes, which is what I'm gonna do. And so those were all of the shoes that I wanted to have for this fall season, but I do have to give an honorable mention to the short booties that I'm not getting rid of and definitely should have in your closet because these are classics. They're always gonna be around. I know some people are like, these are chooky, you shouldn't wear these, but no, they're not. These are always going to be in style. A short ankle booty in black or taupe or a beautiful cognac rich brown color. I think these are always going to be essential in your fall to winter wardrobe. So definitely don't get rid of these. Will the maybe the toe change up throughout the seasons? Yes, because I have a taupe pair from Target that are a little bit more rounder toe that I didn't wear at all last season, but I'm not ready to give up because who knows, the trends may change and those may be uber popular more than the pointy toes. This is a Poshmark find from Forever 21. This was a Nordstrom uber popular boot last year from Steve Madden and this is also a Steve Madden boot. And that is it. Those were all the shoes I wanted to talk about. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you definitely should. I'll link everything down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.